I did wonder, Rebecca, if you could talk us for a minute on kind of what's on the horizon. You mentioned um, steak is something that you're thinking about. You did mention you just, just introduced sausage. And I know from um, a post you had made that you've also been expanding into, you just introduced the product to Trader Joe's. So there's a lot of different ways that you're kind of growing and moving. Any, any tidbits that you can share with us? I'm constrained by what I can say by our legal team. And I never want lawyers to yell at me, um, but I can say just broadly, um, expect more products and especially expect products that are where they might not be the first ones to be commercialized next. They might not be the first ones that come to market next but that really, really target the big movers on climate, on deforestation dynamics. So things like steak, things like whole cuts. And those are the kind of categorical um, technology, just, just full kind of step up compared to where the industry is now, where we are right now, that is the um, big investment area. And I think that's not just us, that's probably other plant-based brands as well but there's a lot of ground products out there on the market. The next thing in the horizon for plant-based as an industry is really gonna be tackling whole cuts, things like steak, things like chicken breast, things that are a little bit different from a form and function perspective. And so that'll be really exciting from a mission perspective. Um, and at the same time, definitely expect the retail, uh, the grocery store availability to keep growing. One thing that was really great to see this year was also we rolled out our direct to consumer um, shipping. And so you can order online and we, drop impossible burger uh, right at your door. Um, and so there's gonna be just a big focus on investment to take us to that next level um, and investment to get us to that new level of accessibility and availability. 